Welcome everyone. I'm Sue with Yoga Awakening and today my intention for class is to focus on the teachings of the Hindu god Hanuman. Hanuman is the monkey god. He's half god and half human. If you want to check out his picture you can google it and see what he looks like. So Hanuman was born with these incredible powers. He was a superhero. He could jump over mountains. He could swim across oceans. He could run as fast as a gazelle. He could make himself as small as a mouse. But he was also a monkey. <laughs> so he was a bit of a trickster. And because of that character, he sometimes got in trouble with the other gods. So one day the gods got really angry at him and they decided to take his superpowers away. So no more, he was just a regular monkey. No more superpowers. So as the story goes on, the king at the time, King Rama, um, Hanuman was very, very dedicated and devoted to this king. And King Rama approached Hanuman and said, Hanuman, my beautiful beloved wife Sita has been stolen by an evil king and I need your help to go rescue her. So Hanuman, of course, being so dedicated to King Rama says, of course, you know, I will go, I will go help and I will rescue Queen Sita. So he begins on his journey and he's on his journey, he's going through mountains and he's trying to reach her where he, she's on the island of Sri Lanka um, off of India. And he's just having so much trouble because he doesn't have his superpowers anymore and he's starving and he's struggling to get there and get there. And then all of a sudden he is reminded of his superpowers. He's reminded of his truth within. He's reminded that he has those powers to jump across mountains, to swim across oceans, and his powers come back. And he's able to stretch his legs all the way from India to Sri Lanka. So that's how we get the pose. Hanumanasana. Hanumanasana. Stretching his legs all the way from India to Sri Lanka. <laughs> so with that, we are going to practice the intention of Hanuman today and really draw into our inner truths and remember what we could awaken within us as we come back over and over again to this beautiful practice of yoga. So let us begin. In your mindful seat, take a few moments to just draw in to all of your blessings within. And take a moment to reflect and answer the question, I am. What would you put in the blank if you answered that question, I am? Continue to feel the fullness of the breath, breathe in and out through the nose. Breathe into the back body, breathe into the side ribs. Feel the abundance of the breath and let that remind you of your abundance within. Expand on the breath, take one, two, three, four, five, six of inhale. And then five, four, three, two, one, exhale. Full, complete inhale. Letting that inhale remind you of your abundance within. And then continue. Four to five counts of inhale. And try to make the exhale twice as long as the inhale. At least five to eight counts of exhale. So while you continue in your mindful meditative seat, reflecting on that question, I am, I'm going to open with a chant called Baba Hanuman. This chant was written by Krishna Das.
bring our hands together in heart center. And as we practice the teachings of Hanuman today, remembering our powers, our courage, our truth, our strengths within, let's open with one own. Take a deep breath in. child's pose and in your child's pose in your mind's eye see Hanuman stretching his legs all the way from India to Sri Lanka to the island of Sri Lanka and although we may not be able to do that miracle <laughs> produce that miracle what are the little gifts within you that you have to share And I should change that from little to magnificent and big. What is your dharma? What is your calling? Hanuman's was his dedication to Queen Sita, King Rama. Let's inhale forward to all fours. Exhale back, child's pose. Inhale forward, all fours. Exhale back, child's pose. One more time, inhale forward. And as you come back in your child's pose, just bow to that truth of yours within. Your courage, your strength, your power. Come up to all fours and begin to move your body in any way that feels good. Movement through the hips, serpentine movement through the spine. And today we're going to call this gorilla pose. <laughs> Find your inner gorilla. Reminds me of seeing the gorillas at the Philadelphia Museum when I used to live there. Philadelphia Zoo, I meant to say. And then press it back to child's pose. Again, inhale forward to all fours. Extend the heart forward and gaze forward. Exhale back, child's pose. Come forward, so feel more of a cow position as you come forward. Exhale back, child's pose. Inhale forward, broaden through the chest. Draw the shoulders back. Spread your fingers like the rays of the sun. Exhale back one more time. Come forward, all fours, and now bring your right foot forward. Bring your hands to the inside, and then make circles through that right hip. So begin to awaken to that inner gorilla. We're going to have a little play in our class today, in addition to remembering our truth within. Bringing out our inner monkeys. <laughs> and now bring your hands up to your knee and then get a little scissor action here back and forth pressing into the knee drawing that left knee back opening up through the hip flexors awakening through the adductors inner thighs Softening through the groins, the bowl, the pelvic floor, soften there. And then straighten through your front leg, bow over your front leg. And as you bow, bow to your courage, bow to your strengths, bow to that inner truth. And now bending, come onto the sole of the front foot and bend into the front knee, knee right over the ankle. Lengthen and then straighten through the front leg. And now flow back and forth, exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. 
Inhale, straighten. Exhale. Inhale. One more time. Exhale. And inhale. Turn yourself to the side of the mat. And we're going to lift up through that left knee and then bend into each knee. Bend into the right knee. Bend into the left. Back and forth. Feel the fullness of the breath. Soften through the groins. Breathe into the bowl of the pelvic floor. Softening here. We're going to need this deep opening as we work our way towards Hanumanasana, monkey split. All right, walk your fingertips around to the front of the mat. And we'll switch sides. Come onto your knees. Bring your left knee forward. Bring your hands to the inside and make circles through that left hip. Breathe in and out through the nose. Soften into the back body. Soften through the mind. And then frame your front foot. Bring your hands up to your front knee. Walk your right knee back. And then give a little scissor action here, forward and back. Taking your hands to the earth, straighten through your front leg. Bow over your front leg. Bow to your truth within, your courage, your magnificence. And then begin to bend and straighten into the front knee. As you bend, walk that right knee back, lengthen through the sides of the body. Extend from hips to crown of head. And begin to move back and forth. And then turn your body to the side of the mat. Lift up your back knee, bending down into each knee, skandhasana, skater's pose. Breathe in and out through the nose. Soften through the bowl of the pelvic floor. And then once again, walk your fingertips around to the front of the mat. We'll monkey around and then find your way to downward dog. Pedal out through your feet. Come high onto your toes. Inhale and then press the mat apart as you reach your heels towards the earth and reach your head towards the earth. Come high onto your toes. Inhale. Exhale, extend, reach your heels towards the earth. Lift up through the armpits, mount the heart towards the earth. Inhale, toes. Exhale, heels. Bend the knees, look between your hands, and can you take a soft float or walk your feet to your hands? Inhale, open halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, open halfway. Exhale, fold. Reach your arms up. Stretch beyond that mountain. You can pretend we're Hanuman. And exhale, awaken your superpowers today and hands to heart. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway open. Lift your toes, bring your hands under your feet. This is called Gorilla Pose. So take a little bend through the elbows. Weight more in the toes. Bend your knees if you need to. And then really try to awaken through your calves, 
Might be feeling a little tension there, but try to straighten through the legs, stretching through the hamstrings, calves. Let the head drop and hang. And then release the hands back to the earth. Inhale, halfway open. Exhale, fold. Find your way back to downward facing dog. Come forward to the top of a push-up. Lower knees, chest, chin, or straight flat back. Come to cobra. Press through the tops of the feet. Lengthen up out of the hips. Stretch through those hip flexors as you extend through the head as though you had a string right at the top of your head, stretching up to the sky. Draw your chin back and exhale back. Downward facing dog. Pedal out through your feet. And then step or float your feet to your hands. Inhale, open halfway. Exhale, fold. Reach up to the sky. And exhale, hands to heart. And again, reach for the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway open. Step or float it back, chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Bring your right foot forward, come onto your back knee. And again, feel that distance as we're beginning to stretch deeper through our hamstrings, hip flexors, psoas. Take a little pulse here, bringing your hands to that front knee. Frame your front foot, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Bring your left foot forward. Come onto your back knee, walk that right knee back. Front knee is right above the ankle. Bring your hands up to your knee and take a little stretch here. Frame your front foot, high plank, chaturanga, cobra or up dog. Exhale back, down dog. Take a full inhale, full exhale. And let's extend our right leg behind us, bend the knee, make big circles, full circumduction of that right hip joint. And let's slow this down again a bit and bring your knee to your knee. Inhale here and then open out to the side like fire hydrant leg. <laughs> and then circle that leg back and then back down, right knee to knee. Circle it out to the side, inhale, exhale, back knee to knee. One more time. And now draw your knee to your nose. Draw in to your courage, your strength, your power. Remember those truths, just like Hanuman, and bring that right foot between your hands. Straight and bend into your front knee. Bend into that front knee, press through your back heel. Draw in through your core, draw your right hip back, left hip forward, extend out of the hips. And now straighten through your front leg, bow over that right leg. Again, exhale, bend, lengthen through the sides of the body, inhale, straighten, exhale, bend, inhale, straighten, exhale, bend, inhale, straighten. Turn to the side of your mat again, we're going to bend into each knee as we did before. Breathe into the bowl of the pelvic floor. Soften, breathe in and out through the nose. And then frame your front foot back to downward dog. Press the mat apart with your hands and your feet. Reach those heels towards the earth. Awaken those hamstrings, calves today. 
and come forward top of a push up. Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Cobra. Really feel the lengthening out of the hips here. Breathe into the heart space, draw the chin back, and exhale back, down dog. I'm going to turn myself around so you can see. You can stay the way you are. Extend your left leg, bend the knee. Big circles, full circumduction of that left hip joint. And now bring your left knee right next to the right knee. Draw that knee out to the side and then up to the sky, heel towards your glute, back down, knee to knee, out to the side, up to the sky. One more time. And now draw your knee to your nose, shoulders right over the wrist, drawn strong to your core. And bring that left foot between the hands, low lunge. Press the mat apart with your feet energetically. Draw your left hip back, right hip forward. Breathe into the bowl of the pelvic floor. Soften through your groins. And now begin to bend and straighten into your front knee. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, really press the mat apart with your feet. Inhale, exhale. Walk your hands around to the side and bend into each knee. Skandasana, skater's pose. It'll be our monkey pose today. Everything will be a monkey pose. <laughs> And then walk your hands back around to the front of the mat, back to downward dog. Let's pause just for a moment in child's pose. Feel the fullness in the back body. Feel the support of something greater than yourself. Let that support remind you of all of your strengths within. And let's lift it back up to downward facing dog. Extend your right leg again, bend the knee, make those big circles, full circumduction of that right hip joint. Extend that right leg straight back, square through your hips, press the mat apart, and then bring that right foot through, crescent lunge. Energetically press the mat apart with your feet. I'm going to turn myself around so I can see you. And then exhale, lower that knee towards the earth. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, one more time. Exhale. Inhale, ground down through your right foot. Bring your hands to your heart. Begin to step it up towards warrior three. And now goal post your hands in front of you. See that deep ocean. We're gonna swim across the ocean now. Here we go, extend those arms forward and back. Forward and back. Awaken your superpowers as you sustain your warrior three and left foot meets the right pause in tadasana come back to that question i am what would you put in the blank it doesn't have to be anything magnificent it could be something as simple as just being a good friend let's inhale reach our arms to the sky Exhale, fold. It's all magnificent. <laughs> Inhale, halfway open. Come to downward facing dog. Extend your left leg behind you, bend the knee. Big circles, 
Draw that knee to knee, then out to the side and back up to the sky. into the chest, bring it in through between the hands, crescent lunge, energetically press the mat apart. So try to work that front thigh parallel to the earth, that will give more of a stretch through your abductors, inner thighs. Exhale, lower that right knee towards the earth, inhale, lift, exhale, lower, inhale, exhale. Inhale, now we're gonna step it up to warrior three, swim across that ocean, ground down through that left foot, fly your way forward, goal post your hands, press through the big toe mound of your back foot, that's activating inner spiral, and extend your arms forward and back. Inhale forward, exhale back, inhale forward, exhale back. Right foot meets the left. Pause in Tadasana, palms facing forward. And again, let's reach our arms to the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway open. Find your way back to downward facing dog. Come forward, top of a push up. Slowly lower chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Cobra or up dog. Exhale back. Downward facing dog. Extend that right leg again. Bend the knee, big circles. Extend the right leg straight back behind. Square the hips, press the mat apart. Feel your split here. Feel that monkey split here. Try to bring that right leg up a little higher. Ground down stronger through the hands. And then draw knee to nose. Bring it through between your hands. Back to crescent lunge. Energetically press that mat apart with your feet. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale. One more time. Exhale. Inhale, step it back up to warrior three. All right, from here, oh, let's take a swim across the ocean first. <laughs> Send those arms forward and back. One more time, forward and back. Hands to the earth. Shiva squats, bend knee to knee, drawn like a little tiny mouse, and then extend back. Hanuman was able to make himself into a little tiny mouse. Maybe we can't do that, but we have other gifts to share. <laughs> and extend back. One more time, exhale. Inhale. All right, this time we're gonna bend knee to knee and sit right behind our knees. Coming to Ardhamatsi and Rasana, bring your right knee over the left, right hand behind you, left hand to the sky. And then bring your left elbow in front of your right knee. Feel your sit bones weighted equally. And now if you happen to have monkey arms, unlike myself, I have T-Rex hands, arms, you're going to take that left hand, thread it in front of your right leg, take your right hand, wrap it all the way around to the back, and maybe you can find a bind with your hands. Lengthen through the spine and twist a little deeper. Lengthen through the spine, twist a little deeper. Slowly unwind. Take your right calf or the edges of your foot into your hand and then stretch, draw that leg towards your head heart towards your foot breathe here inhale exhale inhale exhale slowly release 
Find your way back to downward dog. Pedal out from your feet. Take a full inhale. Exhale, sigh. Ah. All right, other side, extend your left leg, bend the knee, big circles, full circumduction of that left hip joint. And then draw knee to nose, draw into your strength, your power. Bring that left foot between the hands. Low lunge, press that mat apart, ground down, rise up, crescent lunge. Exhale, lower, hover that knee towards the earth. Inhale, exhale, inhale, one more time, exhale, inhale, ground down through that left foot, fly your way forward across the ocean. Go post your hands, extend those arms forward. And back, forward, and back. Hands to the earth, working towards that standing split. Feel the space, lifting up that right leg a little higher, head towards the earth, and then exhale, knee to knee. Inhale, shoot it back. If you'd like more strength, you can bring your hands to heart. No hands, look ma, no hands. <laughs> exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. This time, bend knee to knee, sit behind your knees. Ardha Matsyandrasana, left knee over right. Draw your left hand behind you, right hand to the sky. And then turn around the spine, elbow in front of knee. Inhale, feel that lengthening through the spine. Exhale, twist and turn around. If you can take that monkey bind, threading that right hand through, left hand behind, take that bind. Otherwise, stay with me right here. And slowly unwind. Take that left leg into your hands, either your calf or either side of the foot. Bend through your elbows. Feel that stretch through the hamstrings. Draw that leg towards your head, towards your body, heart towards your toes. All right, we're gonna take this right onto our back. So slowly lower down. Maybe you can keep holding onto that foot. And now extend your right leg straight out long, hovering it on the earth, above the earth. And now we're going to take a little roll here and like you're pressing on a gas pedal, can you find your way up to a seat? Now let's try that again, roll on your back. Press up to a seat. One more time. And let's switch sides. Draw that right leg towards your head. Feel that lengthening through the hamstrings. Feel that stretch. Be careful. If it's too much, just hold on to your calf. Bend your knee. All right, we're going to roll back. Press on that gas pedal, lift yourself back up two more times. And coming back up, bending through that right knee again, bend through your left knee back to Ardha Matsyandrasana. And now we're gonna get a little monkey turn around into this. So you're gonna bring your hands over to the left. Lift up your sit bones. Keep your feet on the earth, monkey your way around, all the way around to the other side. <laughs> left hand to the earth, right hand in front of the left knee. Slowly unwind, find your way back to downward facing dog. Pedal out through the feet.
Inhale, top of a push-up. Lower chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. We're going to come to side plank on the right side. So ground down through your right hand. Come onto the pinky edge of your right foot or come onto your right knee. And then from here, we're going to stretch that left arm right over our head. Your big toe is on the earth of your left foot. Press through that big toe. Reach through your fingertips. Stretch apart. So you're de there or here. All right, if you can, lift up your left leg. Next step will be to maybe find the pinky edge of your foot, bending through that left knee to find it. Full Vashisasana, side plank. And release. Take a vinyasa flow, one-legged, or pause in child's pose. And then wherever you land, either child's pose or downward dog, just take a moment to breathe. Feel the breath in the back body. All right, come back up to all fours. We're going to take Vashistasana on the left side. So ground down through that left hand, pinky edge of the left foot, or come onto your left knee. Reach that top arm over your head. Feel that lengthening from your toes. Press through your big toe mounds. Reach those fingertips far forward and stretch. Either stay here or take the next step. Lifting up that right leg. Lift up through that left hip. And then maybe take that full stretch. We're going to work our way towards full Hanumanasana, monkey split, and right foot needs the left. You can take that three-legged flow or pause in child's pose, or both. Take a full inhale, full exhale. Full inhale, full exhale. Come back, all fours, lift it up back to downward facing dog. Step or float the feet to the hands. Inhale, open halfway. Exhale, bow. Reach the arms to the sky. And exhale, hands to heart. Let's ground down through our left foot. Hug the right knee into the chest. Lift up through the chest. All right, so you're going to either stay here or begin to extend that right leg straight out in front of you. Maybe you're holding your hamstrings. Ground down through that left foot. Extend up through your left foot. Lift up through the chest. If you can go a step further, maybe you can take either side of your foot, crisscross your hands, and then extend that left leg out, right leg out. Slowly, slowly release. And we'll switch to the other side. Ground down through your right foot, ball the left foot. Hug the left knee into the chest. Again, do what's right for your body. Lift up through the chest. Either stay here or begin to extend out your variation, maybe holding your hamstrings, maybe crisscrossing your hands. Lift up through the chest, extend out. Tuck that left sit bone under. And slowly release, the left foot meets the right. 
Inhale to the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway open. Exhale, fold. Just let the head drop and hang here for a moment. Pedal out through your feet. All right, before we work on our full Hanumanasana monkey pose, we're gonna take a little play monkey around in our practice and do what I call my monkey vinyasa flow. <laughs> so here's how the monkey honors the sun. We're going to come to chair pose, maybe watch first. Sink your hips towards the earth. Use your hands or not. Find your seat. Roll back. Halasana. Come forward. Malasana. And then Step or float it back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Step or float your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway open. Exhale, fold. Reach to the sky. Hands to heart. All right, here we go again. Our second monkey sun salute. <laughs> Sit in your chair. So that the sun looking upwards, sink it deeper, deeper, deeper until your hips come to the earth. Roll back. Halasana. Maybe your toes will touch the earth. Roll forward. Malasana. From here, you can step or jump it back. Maybe you can even add Kakasana, crow pose. Labakasana, crane pose. Jump it back from there. Cobra or up dog, exhale back. Downward facing dog, take a full inhale, full exhale. Inhale, exhale. I'm gonna do that one more time. Look between your hands, bend your knees, step or float. Inhale, open halfway, exhale bow. Back to chair pose, Utkatasana. Slowly, slowly, sink your hips down. Roll back. Halasana. Roll forward. Malasana. Maybe pause here, take a bite of your banana. <laughs> Move your hips to the music. And then find either your crow pose. I'm just going to jump it back this time. I'll step it back. So modify to step back. Chaturanga, cobra or up dog, exhale back, down dog. Step or float the feet to the hands. Inhale, halfway open, exhale, fold. Give your monkey salute to the sun and exhale, hands to heart. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, fold. Extend your left leg back. Let's stretch that my apart. Fire up that back leg, front knee right over the ankle. One more time, bend and straighten into your front knee. Really feel that deep stretch through the adductors, inner thighs. And now plant your hands Energetically hug your thighs towards each other. This is called monkey hops or monkey kriya. We're going to hop that left foot forward. So be careful hugging into the midline. Now your left foot is forward. Press that mat apart. Lift up out of the hips. I'm going to take my blocks here to demonstrate. So if you're crunching into that left hip flexor here, take your hands to blocks. Press through your back heel, extend from hips to the sides of the body to the crown of the head. Straighten through that front leg and bend. Let's take that monkey hop, Hanuman Kriya. We're gonna take a little bounce on our trampoline and jump. Let's do that again, ready? Take a little bounce on the trampoline and jump. One more time. Straighten through your front leg. Bow. Bow to your courage. 
back to your inner strength. One more time, switch to the other side. Press through your back heel, lengthen through the sides of the body, and then straighten through your front leg. Come on to your left knee. Pause in child's pose for just a moment. Take a breather before we come to our full Hanumanasana. Monkey split. Get ready to rescue Queen Sitta. Here we go. Come up to all fours, maybe hands on blocks. You're going to bring your right foot forward. I'm also going to demonstrate with my bolster. You can use a rolled up blanket. So I'm going to bring my right, I'm going to sit right on top of the bolster. And that'll give me the support that I need to keep the upper body more erect. So this would be a modification. Use a rolled blanket or if you have a bolster, that's great. And then going a little deeper, give a little seesaw action back and forth, bending into the front knee. See if you can soften a little more. Breathe into the groins, soften through those inner thighs. Another little trick here is to move your front foot from right to left. That might help you to sink a little bit deeper. Keep your wrists right below the shoulders, lift up through the chest. And if you have the support of your blanket or if you feel the support of the earth, maybe you can lift your arms to the sky, breathe into the heart. And then slowly draw that right leg back, pause, Sitting on back on your heels just for a moment before we do the other side. All right, here we go. Left leg forward. Take that bolster or blanket underneath you if you need. Shoulders right above the wrists. Begin to expand out, get a little scissor action to begin. Bending to each knee. And then maybe playing with moving your front foot right to left. Can you soften through the groins? Breathe into the bowl of the pelvic floor. Go a little deeper. Not beyond your edge, though. Do what's right for your body. Maybe lifting up your hands. Wherever your position you're in, just really lengthen through the sides of the body and breathe into the heart space. And let this pose be a remembrance of your courage, your strength, your power. Let's slowly draw that left leg back. Sit back for a moment. All right, we're going to put this all together now. So we're going to come to side plank on the right side, as we did earlier, bending into your knees. Can you find your foot? If not, no worries. And then we're going to bring that left foot forward for full Hanumanasana. I think we've rescued Sitta now. <laughs> And then slowly slide left foot back, right knee forward, and we'll do the other side. I'll turn myself around. All right, so we're going to find Vashi Stas in the side plank on the left side. So you can be on your left knee. Modification would just be to simply bring that right foot forward and then play with your Hanumanasana, what's ever right for you. Be really careful, you don't want to overstretch those hamstrings. So I'm going to come to full Vashistasana.
Slowly bring that right leg through, land it forward, find your monkey split. Lengthen through the torso, open through the heart. Let Hanuman's great leap from India to Sri Lanka, his superpowers, his remembrance of his superpowers, remind you of all that's beautiful and magnificent within you. Let's come onto our right hip, wrap that left leg around, and we're gonna find our way right onto our backs. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. Maybe bring your forehead towards your knees. And let's bring the soles of the feet together. Windshield wiping your knees from right to left. And now bring the soles of the feet back to the earth. Take your right ankle to your left knee. Thread the needle. Hug that left shin into your chest. And let's switch sides. Left ankle to right knee. Thread the needle. Left arm threads through. Hold your shin or your hamstrings. And now soles of the feet on the earth. Bring your knees wide apart, soles of the feet together. Settle in to Supta Baddha Konasana. Soften through the groins, let the knees gently open. And wherever your hands feel comfortable, maybe you need blocks underneath your knees, or you could use your fists. If you don't have blocks, you could place fists right below your glutes. So just feel supported here. And then wherever your hands, maybe you want your hands on your belly, on your heart, maybe above your head, in a goddess-like position. Whatever you've chosen, just feel the opening of the heart space. I'm going to turn the music off as we settle in for our Final poses. And so with the music off now, we'll really draw into the silence. And within this silence, Go inward, go deeply inward. Come back to the question, I am. When you ask yourself the question, I am, what does your body say? Maybe your body says, I am strong, I'm powerful. Maybe it doesn't. And then ask your intellect, what does your mind say? How does the mind answer the question, I am? And then bring your awareness to your heart space. And how does your heart answer that question, I am? Go deep within your heart. Now go 
even deeper and ask your soul, what would your soul say? I'm going to stay here in Sutta Bhagavanasana until the end of class, or as you're ready, you can extend those legs forward, away from the body, finding the shape of final Shavasana. Wherever your hands feel expressive as you continue to open through the heart.
Thanks so much for joining today. And if you liked my class today, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel so that you can help me to spread yoga around the world. Also, maybe you'd like to join me for one of my Zoom classes, and you can see that in the link below the video. Thanks so much. Namaste.